All right, so we're on to amortization. And the first thing to realize is uh, we're not going to amortize indefinite life intangibles. The one we're gonna focus on are limited life intangibles such as patents. Uh, capitalized software development costs are also limited life, but they have the special amortization rule. Um, I have an example, but we're really not gonna pay much attention to it. It will not be on the test. Um, the I should say the only things related to it are knowing that it's an exception to the rule that R&D are capitalized, um, that there is this percent of revenue method, and also this is uh, similar to IFRS. So to really all IFRS. IFRS capitalizes all development costs after technological feasibility. Okay, so not research costs, but development costs after technological feasibility. Okay, so um, let's look at our typical case. First of all, amortization, pretty straightforward. You take the amount capitalized on a straight line basis with no residual value. So it makes it the capitalization easier. We're also gonna do a change in estimate. So change in estimate uh, is prospectively so going forward, that's what prospectively means. We do not go back and change the prior years. So we only go back in accounting and change prior years for errors or in errors intentional or otherwise. Um, but this is not an error. We make an estimate, it's an estimate. So sometimes it's off and we just go forward with it. All right, so here's the example 5A, the one we'll be covering in this lecture note. So they buy a patent for 200,000, 10 year useful life. What's the amortization in the first year? No problem, 200,000 divided by 10, there's no residual value. Amortization expense, 200,000. Um, and we don't have an accumulation account, unlike depreciation. We go straight to the asset, the patent asset. Okay, you could just say intangible asset, that'd be fine. Um, what else can I say? This amortization, um, is an operating expense, okay? Now let's deal with a simple change in estimate. In the next year, they spend 40,000 in legal costs and they reduce the remaining useful life uh, from I guess it would be nine down to five. So the first thing you have to do is update the carrying value. You originally had 20,000, you amortized, or 200,000, you amortized 20,000, but you, the legal costs, once again, are capitalized under GAAP. So even not just the ones at inception for you know filing a patent, but also later for defending. So after the amortization, you actually increase the balance to 220,000, and now you have the new useful life 44,000, and there you go. Okay, change an estimate of the life and also capitalization. Uh, capitalization during the life of the item. All right, so that's it. Um, down here you have the software development cost percent of revenue method. Um, we won't worry about quantitative problems for that.